Arana versus Gerash. Victory or death. I am determined to win this. All right, hi everybody. So this video is an aggressive demon hunter list. It curves out like the list I post in the theory crafting video, the last vlog, but it kind of changes around some cards. It runs a mana burn. I really like mana burn in this deck, especially a bunch of druids. I haven't actually played a druid with this deck, but mana burn just feels like a good inclusion in this deck. It also gets to run one of my favorite cards, the expansion that's come out, Demonic Demon Companion. So we play the... Um, Oh, I forget its name. It's like Inept Initiate. It's a one mana, one two with. Oh, sorry, I hit my mic with my glasses. With um, spell burst, gain two attack. We're gonna play a second one because they're powerful, and I'm gonna mana burn him. He's not gonna have it be able to do anything this turn. That's a pretty powerful turn because we get to push for six, and we get to play Demonic Companion. And we're gonna get the two two Taunt. I have not learned their names yet. But this is a pretty powerful turn. I'm kind of dumping my hand because I have a Voracious le Reader in my hand. I always call it Voracious Leader. So that card's going to get us to refill our hand next turn. And he can't really do much about our board this turn. We draw Kane. Kane's a bit unfortunate because I don't really want a Kane to be what's in my hand. I want Kane to be later after I use Skull Gul'dan. But it's fine. We're going to push 9 damage, which is pretty powerful. So the card we just drew, again, I'm still in names of the cards, but it's a 2-mana, two 2-3 two, battle cry if you use your hero power, draw a card. That's really good in this deck. Played a game where it was at the bottom of my deck. That's not as good. So he plays Blade Fist. And we're going to play Ace Hunter. So we can just trade in cleanly without losing board presence. It's a really good card. It's not... I did not think that card would be as good as this, but it has just turns like that, where it's awesome. So we're pretty far ahead right now. We're doing pretty well. I don't know why my deck tracker is not working for this one, guys. I apologize again. I will get it sorted out in the next recording session. A 3-2 lives, and but he's just, he's pretty far behind. I'm trying to think what I want to do if I want to play the Seder Overseer and attack, or if I want to battle cry and draw a card. Either way, I'm pushing damage. I guess we're going to keep flooding the board. We really just want to flood the board with this deck. He's already at 10 health, and it's turn, going into turn 6. That's pretty powerful. A uh, Bladestorm does clear our board here, unfortunately, but it looks like he's going to shield block, draw a card, armor up, and I... I think, yeah, he shield slams the 4-2. We are going to attack, draw a card, I'm gonna mana burn, and I miscount there because I think, okay, I'm gonna stop him from brawling. I forget that he's gonna go up, so he would be at 4, but next turn he'll go up to 5. My plan was just to stop the brawl there. I'm counting right now on board I have three seven eight nine plus uh cane so that'd be six i mean it'd be 12 sorry but he does have the brawl because i can't count mana apparently it's okay though we keep a two three two threes are okay and this turn i can skull i don't know why i did it that way looking back i should have just played the one two i don't know why i didn't that was a weird play there was no reason not to play the 1-2 there. So you guys know that I am only human. I do make mistakes. So he plays the big bully card. That's not what his name is. The Troublemaker. It deals... It summons two 3-3s three that attack random enemies at the end of the turn. What we're doing now is kind of stalling. We know that he, he can't kill us some 30. So we're just kind of stalling after that weird not play outcast skull play. I don't know. That was a bizarre play. But we are in a really good commanding position. Aggro Demon Heart still seems strong. You can misplay with it and still do pretty good, it seems. 
So he's going to gain up to eight armor. He's up to eight health right now. He's gonna push six. And he's gonna heal up to 10 now. Now here I'm thinking, okay, let's just like, hold on a second. He can't kill me from here. Let's push four. Let's push five, I guess, with the attack. So let's push five with the add up. We have Altruist and Kane set up for next turn. So if he plays a taunt, we're fine. We'll draw a card, get a battle friend, and we'll just chill. Now, the Vargoth, Vargoth in this deck is pretty interesting because you can play the 10 mana card, and then you get double the value. Fortunately, he did not get the prime version of Blade Fist. That would have been really bad. That would have been a concede. But it looks like he's going to trade around. He knows that the 2-6 and the 6 can go face, and he can summon the rush guys and push 3. So we just chilled for a second, and we got value off of Kane and Altruis, which we're going to use immediately. Almost misplayed the outcast there, but we're just going to outcast out of mana. So we're just going to go face with Kane because Kane is a really good card. Taunts don't matter, and we get the warrior. Even with a few misplays there, which again I don't know why I made those misplays, did pretty good. I am determined to win. So this is against a shaman. I believe it's the spell damage shaman. I'm not entirely sure. I know I really like mana burn, so I'm going to keep mana burn as my only card in my hand. Draw a cane again. Cane has a bad habit of showing up in the middle of my hand. But we're going to just play a blazing battle mage and call that good for now. And he gets his tour guide so we can play a totem immediately. Buffs the totem. Totem Shaman is kind of nutty. He buffs the totem, gives it two attack. It's pretty powerful. Fortunately for him, we get a Twin Slice. And Twin Slice is just going to kill his totem, and I'm going to trade into the 1-1. One, one. That was, he kind of blew his load right there, right? Like, he, he went all in on a totem, and it did not pay off. This turn, we're going to play the mana burn to get him back down to one. I really don't want him doing too many more shenanigans. We're going to attack the 1-1 one, one totem and go face with the 2-1. And we have a pretty commanding lead right now, because we can go into Seder next turn. I said it right for once. And then we have Kane for the end of the game. So we'll go right into Seder, we'll hero power, go face, push 5 total, and develop a 4-2 and a 2-2. Seder's just a good card. <laughs> so he's going to coin here, and he's going to coin out Totem Goliath. Now Totem Goliath is overload 2, so he will be overloaded for 2 anyways, which is kind of rough for him. We're going to ignore a 4-5 that an over um, costed Yeti and just go face for 13, 14. Yeah. Not much he can do from here. So we did a pretty good aggressive curve. This deck is just good. I really think that if you want to play some Demon Hunter, this is a good deck to play with. He's going to hero power again with the Tour guide. He's gonna get a Doja No Taker. Buff his totems, but guys, it's not gonna matter. We are way too far ahead of the board. We are very aggressive. So as he finishes up his turn, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.